Android Oreo, the latest iteration of Google's Android OS which is now officially out and the developers are trying their best to port this new ROM for the various devices. And just recently, we got a pretty stable update of Android Oreo for our beloved Redmi Note 4. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can install Android Oreo on your Redmi Note 4 right now plus I will also give you a quick overview of this ROM and how it's performing. Excited? So let's get started. Now before we get started, I would like to mention that this is an unofficial build which is based on Lineage OS 15, so you can expect some bugs. Now I am testing this ROM since almost 24 hours and I found that Volti is not working except that fingerprint is working just fine, call quality is also very good and the battery performance is quite acceptable. So if you just want to try out Android Oreo on your Redmi Note 4, then just go on and follow the steps correctly. Now the prerequisites are, first, your bootloader should be unlocked, second, you should have pre-installed TWRP recovery. Now if you don't have an unlocked bootloader and pre-installed TWRP recovery, then I'll be leaving the link of those videos in the description down below, so do check out. Now first you have to download 3 files, the Android Oreo zip file, gapps package and restart fix issue file. Once downloaded, put them in the internal memory of your device. Now once that is done, boot your device into TWRP recovery mode and for that first switch off your device. Now press and hold volume up plus power key until you see this me logo, this will basically boot your device into TWRP recovery. So after successfully booting up into TWRP recovery, the first thing that I always recommend is to make a backup of your current ROM because in case you don't like the ROM or you just wanted to go back to your previous ROM, then just go to restore section and from there you can restore the previous ROM, it's as simple as that. So after backup is done, go back and click on wipe, then advanced wipe, from here select Delvic system data cache and swipe this blue button to right. This will basically wipe the system partition and make your device ready for ROM installation. Once that is done, go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file which we downloaded earlier and select it. Now click on add more zip and select the gapps package. Now again swipe this blue button to right in order to flash the ROM zip file. The installation will take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes so just relax. Once the installation is done, again go back and select the third file that is restart fix issue file and flash it. Now you can reboot your device. The first boot will take around 5 to 10 minutes which is quite normal, so just wait till the boot is finished. Now as you can see, we have successfully installed the Android Oreo on our Redmi Note 4. In my testing, I found that the ROM is quite usable, all the Android Oreo features is working just fine and the overall performance is also very good. As for the battery, I was easily getting a full day battery without any problem, but the battery backup is not as good as MIUI. Even the fingerprint scanner is working like a charm, it's fast and responsive and every time I put my finger over the scanner, it unlocks my device with 100% accuracy. Now with this ROM, you will get the exclusive Android Oreo features like the new simplified setting menu which is strongly focused on simplicity and now the menus are more sorted. There are 13 main headings with short descriptions of what's inside. The overall color scheme has a black and white approach with blue essence and personally, I like the redesigned setting menu. Additionally, there are lots of new features like new lock screen shortcuts, hi-fi bluetooth audio codec, notification channel and many more. I had already made couple of videos on new features of Android Oreo which you can watch. I will leave a link for those videos in the description down below. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.